Welcome back to Affiliate Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Webby Ground. Just a reminder, this is an honest review video. I think that's going to become pretty obvious pretty early on. However, there will be a link in the description of the video so you can look at the sales page for yourself. You can purchase the product through that page. If you do purchase the product through my link, I will receive a commission. But this is, as with the majority of my videos, an honest review and not sure I have an awful lot good to say about Webby Ground. Now, let's look at what Webby Ground is. So it's telling us make meetings and webinars more professional without the hard cost and complicated setup of a green screen studio in less than a minute. Now, one of the things we're going to notice here is the hard cost. I'm going to get to this, but I want you to pay attention to that. The hard cost and complicated setup. Now, I realize that if you are on the go, if you are, uh, if you're doing webinars from home one day and then somebody else's house or a coffee shop or, you know, if you're, if you're not in the same place or you're not in a place that's really your own where you can kind of claim the space or whatever, I, I get that you don't want to drag a green screen or something like that around with you. Uh, however, um, I want to look at this. This is basically going to give you backgrounds that you can use in uh, various webinar softwares. So uh, Zoom, Skype, Microsoft Teams, Meet, uh, and, and others so that you can uh, so that it'll look as though you're green as, as though you you're on location someplace or you've got a nicer background instead of looking like you're in your kitchen or sitting on your bed um, the the video here we're not going to play this but i did watch this a little while before recording this the video here is quite interesting because at numerous points we see people with bad backgrounds about to set up and you would think it would be the easiest thing in the world. In fact, at one point you see somebody click something and you see a three, two, one appear on their screen. But as the one shows up, the scene shifts. Now, I don't understand why in a video like this, you wouldn't simply show a compilation of a whole bunch of people, you know, sitting on their beds or sitting at a kitchen table or sitting in a coffee shop and they touch a button and all of a sudden you just see a brand new background appear. Okay, now forget the fact that we can obviously achieve that with a green screen, right? We can make it look like they're sitting in a coffee shop. You know, the skeptical part of my mind runs through there. But despite that, that would be a brilliant sales promotional thing to show. And we'd never actually see that in the video. That is what it's claiming to do. So more professional. I'm not sure. I, I mean, I suppose it depends, but I'm not sure that a fake background, depending on what you, what you use. I mean, if, if I, I get, I don't know, I'm just going to forget about all of that. I'm not sure that a lot of these actually look more professional. Like some of these, oh, hey, you're not sitting, uh, you're not sitting at home on your couch. You're sitting at a beach. Well, I'm not sure the beach is more professional. If anything, it kind of conveys the message that you don't really want to be here more. Uh, travel freely, conduct online meetings professionally from anywhere. Now, this is legit. That said, there are other systems for doing this. Um, I think, don't quote me on this, and I, I know it's not one of the ones mentioned above, but I believe OBS Studios, uh, and OBS Studios, you can link to a lot of other stuff. Um, but I believe it has a system where basically if you have a wall that just has one consistent color, uh, you can green screen something in. Don't, don't quote me on that. I'm not, I'm not a video expert, but anyway, we'll, we'll come back to some of this in a, in a few minutes here. Uh, 3000 plus virtual premium backgrounds. And we're going to see some samples of those in, in a minute, right after we get through some of the hype, some of, you know, again, how awesome would it be if you didn't have to deal with all this? And I love that this is what it shows for a green screen studio. Now, if this is what you think is legitimately required for a quote unquote green screen studio, 
you are greatly mistaken. Uh, video technology these days, again, I'm not an expert, but you can hang a white sheet across a wall and cover up, you know, grandma's, grandma's 1963 wallpaper and you can green screen over that today with a lot of different software packages. And again, I'm not an expert. Um, at most, if you're doing webinars, I mean, you're not shooting full movies, presumably. Uh, you're not you're not doing action adventure movies or something like that. So you can just buy a little green screen background. Um, and again, I'm going to talk about that some more in in a minute when we get down to the. You know, we're seeing a lot about the high hard cost of a complex setup. Uh, you know. It's difficult to shoot videos. It's really not difficult to shoot videos. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Well, I, I'm going to be honest. It, it takes me about 15, you know, basically the length of the videos that I do. Now, these are not super professional videos. These are, for all intents and purposes, pretty cheap and dirty videos. Um, but you can do videos that don't take an immense amount of setup. Uh, and you can do videos with digital green screens fairly quickly and easily, uh, and it will cost too much. Well, if you're going to, you can put almost anything you want into this. Um, if, if you want, you know, the, the default standard, I think, for most people for a microphone, for instance, uh, is, is, a, uh, is a Yeti. And a Yeti will set you back, I don't know the current price. Uh, I want to I want to say somewhere between one and two hundred dollars. Now, if, if you're just starting out and you're setting up, um, and you really, really, really feel that you need to have a Yeti, all right, that's a little bit. A high end a high end cameras can go a lot higher, but there's lots of people who just use the built in default camera that comes on their laptop. Uh, you can buy stuff that's reasonably decent. It's it's not going to shoot in four in in four K or anything like that, but you can get pretty decent cameras that are significantly less expensive than that. Uh, some say that you need some say that you need some kind of two thousand dollars setup and a degree in video editing. Um, if you don't know how to do basic video stuff, presumably by by the you're watching this. So, seriously, just, just do a YouTube search for, you know, video setup or something like that. You'll, you'll find, you know, the basics. You're going to get different recommendations, but, you know, and we're gonna, this is hard. Well, this can be hard. This can be awkward. Um, the one on the couch here, honestly, that's bad for your neck. Uh, the one on the right, you know, it'd be better if she had some kind of support under that. But, you know, if you're looking at peripherals, I would suggest... You know, some kind of a laptop stand, and uh, I'd probably go with a a secondary keyboard. But I, I don't think it's actually th that complicated. Anyway, um, I, I'm not against virtual backgrounds. Okay, um, not at all. In fact, I think it can be a great idea. Uh, this is telling us about how there's there's variations. So you've got original, edited, super edited, and blurred. I I'm not. Again, I suppose it depends on what you're looking for precisely. Uh, 60 different niches. Now, this one doesn't show six. Oh, I guess we've got beach and autumn, office, sales page, previews, business. Okay. Uh, obviously, anybody can benefit from this. This is giving us some previews. These are some, some samples. So, again, some of these are going to look kind of professional, I suppose. Um, you know, if you've got a, if you get the brick wall, that doesn't really look professional, but it might look neater than, than what's really behind you. Uh, or maybe it's just something to kind of set apart from, from your living room or your bedroom or whatever. Um, I don't think most of these really come across looking professional per se. Um, in the sense of an office type professional, like if I'm if I'm skyping in or I'm zooming in on a on a meeting, um, I, I really don't think it looks professional for me to be sitting in front of, you know, a, a beach or you know this beautiful little waterfall. Uh, 
some of some of these would maybe be more perfect. You know, I get that you want something clean. You don't want it to look like you're in your living room, but I'm not sure that this this meets with it. Um, demo video here. I'll be honest, I did not actually watch the demo video, so I'll I'll leave that for you to check out. Hopefully, it actually shows it working. We're gonna get we're we're slowly getting down to the bottom of the page, and I want to get to the biggest issue I have with this. Okay, now what is this? This is. Virtual virtual set studio TV, hundred dollars interior virtual set TV set studio TV virtual set studio TV. Uh, oh, okay. Now buying a premium virtual set on the internet will cost you a hundred dollars for a single virtual set. Uh, yes, if you want to buy something that makes it look like you're on a talk show or a game show or a news broadcast, maybe. But one, the price on these things is going down all the time, and two, you can take virtually any image and set it as your background. Again, watch a couple of YouTube videos on this. By the way, I haven't really done much research on how easy this is to do, but I've known enough people uh, and, uh, and talked with enough people who've done uh, vlogs or they've done podcasts with video or whatever, uh, it will cost you up to, it will cost you 500, sorry, $500,000 for 5,000 virtual sets. You don't need 500, you don't need 5,000 virtual sets. I mean, there's 365 days in a year, over 10 years, if you use a different set every day, you're only going to use 3,650, now plus a couple of leap years, so, you know, plus or, plus or minus a couple uh, you don't need them all. So anyway, one time price of $17. Now here's the thing, and we're going to get some, some bonuses here. Of course we are. In this case, I'm really more looking at the product itself than the bonuses. Okay. So one time price of $17. Well, that's, that's pretty good, except what you're really going to get is you're going to get Webby Ground for seventeen dollars. Uh, Webby Ground Pro is going to show up for thirty-seven dollars. The Webby Ground Done for You Kit is going to be an extra sixty-seven dollars, and the Webby Ground Stock Unlimited is going to be ninety-seven dollars. You can say no to any of those, and it'll offer you the lower price. By the way, so you know. Actually, you're not getting everything, everything for the $17. Now, I did do a tiny bit of research in that I did a quick Amazon search before I started this video. Uh, I just did an Amazon. This is Amazon.ca because I'm in Canada. Uh, so here is a sponsored ad for a 2 by 3 meter collapsible. Let's see if we get the whole thing. Uh, anyway, we've got a we've got a big green screen here, two two by three meters. So this is about six and a half feet by ten feet uh, for thirty dollars. You can again, you can take any image you want. You can go to there's all kinds. Uh, in fact, I just I just did a review I think a few days ago um, on uh, on a big video or not a big video, sorry, a, a big um, graphic design suite. All kinds of images in there. Uh, there's a lot of image packs that get released. Find a background that you like instead of instead of buying a bunch of random stuff. Just go out and find stuff that you that you want. You know what? Take take your phone. I mean, it used to be take your camera, but I mean now just take your phone out someplace. Find something you like. Take a picture of that and make that your background. Now again, this this is maybe this is something that super appeals to you. Maybe you feel you need five thousand images that frankly mostly look like backgrounds to uh they, they look they look like desktop backgrounds to me uh to be honest i just want to go back up and look at some of those um where do we get those but but yeah i mean most of these to me honestly look just as much like something you would see on somebody's uh somebody's desktop as they do something that you'd want to see in a background now that's my personal opinion Okay, but that's what the goal of this is. Uh, we've got more green screens here. Here's one. Here's a here's a twenty dollar green screen with a four point three out of five star rating, five feet by seven feet. That is 
a, actually covering as as big a space as you're probably ever going to need if you're doing webinars or if you're doing Skype calls or Zoom meetings or you want to make video. You know, if, let's let's say you want to be uh, you you want to you want to be the new online web news guru uh, and you decide that you need a really cool background. Cool. So you buy this for twenty dollars and set it up with OBS Studios, which is a free download. You're welcome, by the way. I just saved you like a hundred and I don't know. It's a I just saved you like two hundred bucks from buying the ground stock unlimited. Okay. So again, this could be an amazing product. Um, I'm not convinced it's worth the money. And you're, again, you're going to get pressured to get all the all the higher end stuff. Um, the other thing I want to show you is uh, this is the this is the vendor. This is who's releasing this. And by the way, if you're ever shopping around someplace, if you're if you go to Warrior Plus or any anywhere where you can see the profile of somebody who's releasing the product, I most of the time do this unless it's somebody that I've had personally good experiences with, um, go, just go to their profile. Uh, so this guy, forget the number of sales, but this this previous product uh, made 500 plus sales and has a 2.1 rating. Now, as I said before, would you buy something, you know, if you went on Amazon, right, let's, let's flip back over to Amazon. You know, these are all pretty high ratings, but if we looked at one of these that had a a one and a half or a or two, barely a two star rating, would you buy that product? Um, I don't think you would. Okay, so this is somebody who uh, is doing reasonably well. He's had one featured offer. Uh, he's got one product he's released. This is just on Warrior Plus. I don't know what else he's done, but this is giving me a lot of cause to pause and say, I don't think this is the best the way that you could invest in a product. So I'm sure it's an easy setup. If you, again, there's a, there's a link to the sales page, go check it out for yourself. Watch the promo video, watch the demo video. And if you think it's worth the money, by all means buy it. But for me personally, my recommendation is going to be to walk away from this. I think you can do better with, again, you, you can, you can buy yourself a, a very inexpensive green screen. You can get all kinds of free backgrounds. Uh, you can you can set this up. I think much cheaper uh, and much, frankly, more professionally looking. I think than what you're seeing here. So that's my personal opinion. Maybe you have a different opinion. Feel free to share in the comments. Like, subscribe, uh, check out the various links. If you have experience with this product, please feel free, especially to share your experience. Uh, in the comments section. Thanks guys, enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully we'll see you back here again soon.